Ms. Dwight, tell me about the kind of tenant Ms. Sargent was. I mean, she rented from you for at least a year and a half. So what kind of tenant was she? In the beginning, there was some issues with the, uh, our other tenants in the other um, part of the duplex. As far as her and her ex-boyfriend, there was a lot of complaints. But you allowed her to renew? I allowed her to renew okay. because at some point, I guess they broke up. So he was no longer there. She was late on rent almost every time. But I did allow her to renew the lease. I believe she texted you and informed you that she needed to basically break the lease, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me about that conversation. Pretty much the messages were saying, like, that she was going through a situation with her ex, that he was stalking her and, like, just being disruptive to her and the kids' well-being. And she needed to leave the property because, I. Like, guess he had a key and he was just coming and doing things. So what was the agreement? You, so you were gonna the, let her out of release. The agreement was that she would be responsible for September rent, her deposit would be forfeited, and she would clean out the property by the end of September and that I would be allowed to come in and show the property to other tenants or future tenants to see the property so that I would have it rented out by October. So you were expecting her to be out mid-September? Through our text messaging, she said that she would be out by September 15th. What was this conversation about the domestic violence shelter offering some assistance with, with the rent? This is not the first time. There's been other times for her rent payment that she's gotten help from, like, different rent help and, like, stuff like that. She told me that she would be getting assistance from someone to help her pay for the rent. Mind you, rent is due on the 1st. She did not reach out about any of this until I reached out to her on the 6th about okay. rent. That's when she said, oh, um, I've been talking to a caseworker or something that would help me pay for September rent. Did you refuse? And I told her, I said, no, I was gonna go to court because I didn't trust it, because it just sounded like something she just came up with. You didn't care where she got the money from? I didn't care where she got the money okay. from as long as she paid it. It just felt like she was buying time. So I told her I would have to move forward with, like, the eviction process, because I've been in the situation before where... Okay, let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. When did Miss Sargent tell you that the place was cleaned out and she was out and you could... Here you go, I'm done. She said that she was all done. This was around, like, the 24th fourth or... 20th. Of September. Of September. And then you went into the unit. And I went into the unit and it was... It was just a mess. There was trash everywhere. There was flies everywhere. There was... It was just... It was really disgusting. I was kind of surprised I didn't see any photos in your exhibits, but then I was told that you had a video. Yeah, I sent photos and I sent a video, but I'm guessing the video shows it all anyways. And this is you touring the unit? Yeah, I after was just showing, she left. like, what happened... Yeah, what was going on, because this is me pretty much saying that, hey, I'm coming to show the property. She had told me that it was clean, like she had got okay, most of let's everything. let's watch. Let's yeah. watch the video. This is the kitchen, the cupboards, filthy. This is in the fridge. Things are broken in here. The cabinets are scratched up. There's a hole in the door. There's a hole in the closet. That's furniture, clothes, trash, everything. A mop bucket with dirty water. Finally figured out where all the flies and gnats is coming from. There's potatoes that was left in there. Disgusting. And then, I don't know, maybe that was for kids' safety or something. They super glued those things to the refrigerator. And I can't get it out. Okay, so that kind of looked like, uh more than just normal wear and tear for someone who's been in a unit for a year and a half.